everyone, this is Emman and welcome to my video course Piano Well. This is lesson number 6 from my training book that you can download for free on my website artofpianotechnique.com. The link is in description to this video. If you already have this book, let's open it on page 21. And the uh, topic of this lesson is dynamics and balance. So dynamic relates to dynamic musical ear. And dynamic ear is ability to remember sounding on different dynamic levels and then imagine sounds on any on any pitch so you listen to music on different dynamic levels starting from pianissimo till fortissimo you try to remember that sounding and then you imagine those in timbre in the mark dynamics uh, so one of the common commands that teachers give their students is about making accurate dynamics and uh, we were all told that we're not following dynamics uh, that are written in the score that piano and forte sound like mezzo forte <laughs> that um, crescendo and even and approximate and um, piano is empty, forte is harsh many 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 comments about dynamics <laughs> um, but for some reason we still keep making the same mistakes most probably because we don't feel comfortable playing piano and forte it brings more tension to our playing and sometimes frankly we sometimes think that making accurate dynamics not is not so important comparably with uh, practicing some difficult passages in, in the in the piece. So the trick to make accurate dynamics and um, play it with a good sound is to be able to imagine sounds in the absolutely uh, um, absolutely accurate level of dynamics and then express conceived idea using uh, correct movements of wrist and intonation and weight uh, so I'm gonna I will try to explain how it works when students play piano they have to strain to tense their hands just because they cannot control uh, the sounds they produce on the instrument and everything sounds uh, quite unevenly and however as soon as they able to imagine first this soft sound and then pre-feel it um, on fingertips and then use weight while playing then they can just relax their hands and control sound with fingertips and uh, just play it and make sound be full and expressive and the same way with forte, students have to strain their hands to play forte just because they cannot reach mark loudness with relaxed hands. And because they don't use weight, uh, the forte sounds harsh and it brings more stiffness to their hands. And again, as soon as they uh, imagine huge sound first and then prefill it on fingertips and then use weight while playing then they can relax their hands control sound with fingertips and make full three-dimensional good quality forte and again as we know we use we can use weight only through intonation only when we are able to make intonation if you're not sure what intonation is that means you didn't start on the first lesson, so come back to the lesson number three, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to repeat myself here. Um, so... I think that's it about dynamics. I said more than enough. Now about balance. Balance is ability to highlight 
some particular notes in the music texture. Teachers usually talk about balance when they suggest to bring out the melody to make the playing more expressive or to highlight extreme voices in chords to avoid this noise effect when all notes sound at the same level or bring out some uh, part in the polyphonic piece um, not to get drowned in this thick three or four or sometimes five part texture um, but it's not really easy to make as we all know a melody wouldn't flow and an accompaniment uh, wouldn't be soft enough notes in the chord wouldn't sound simultaneously when we try to highlight some some voices in the chord and uh, parts in the polyphonic piece will be still mixed up so the answer to this question <laughs> how to make it uh, feel nice and sound nice and make it mm, maximally accurate again is an ability to imagine first timber literally in different levels like some notes you imagine clear clear to you and some notes on the background and that will let you start to control your fingers and fingertips and when you use weight I don't know how it works guys but this is how you actually highlight some notes in the chord or in the polyphonic texture you simply distribute weight among your fingers Again, I don't really know how, but as soon as you master technique to play with weight and imagine sounds, you will control uh, your fingers, a really thin finger, with, uh, with ability to play with weight. Like if you need to uh, highlight this one, you make... Everything starts from your head. You imagine now. You imagine E closer to you. You imagine E closer and C and G on the background. And you already feel it here. And you now you imagine C closer and E and G on the background. Somehow fingers start to exert more before playing. That's it. There was a time I couldn't make that. That would be like this. I'm making E closer. <laughs> no, it wouldn't sound simultaneously. As hard as, as I try, I couldn't make that. Okay. Um, so let's come back to the book now. Dynamics and balance. Okay, so again, very quickly. Uh, you need to play right hand on this octave and imagine C in um, timbre of violins. Then you imagine C in, G, in C major, that we already can do. And then you imagine the sound very, very soft. Very soft. And still keep a uh, keep movement when you do this, and then you play it with movement. You do the same with both hands, and when you play with both hands, now you start practicing balance. You imagine right hand, you imagine violins closer to you, and imagine cellos on the background, and again you imagine on C major, very very soft. <laughs> He's always in time, my dear friend. Okay. No mind. And then you imagine cellos closer and 
violins on the background and then you play it. And you do this in harmony, don't forget. Then you do the same with movement to the left. Assignment two, now you make a little bit louder, you imagine timbre in harmony on mezzo forte. Assignment three, you make it maximally loud. You, um, I really suggest you to listen to music maximally loud. Like reasonable loud, you know, like to break your eardrums. And then assignment four, this is an important thing. It says imagine five same notes. That means you imagine if you if you play on C, you take five C's and you start with very soft, for example, pianissimo, then piano, mezzo piano, forte, fortissimo. And then when you do assignment number five, you start with fortissimo, forte, mezzo piano, I'm sorry, mezzo forte, mezzo piano. like this, right? So you get away from legs and you play it. And always keep in mind this huge sound and always remember as much huge you imagine sound you can make it even louder. Try go beyond uh, beyond your limits. Okay, so we're done with this lesson and uh, Take your time, make this lesson, let me know how it goes, and I will talk to you later in the next lesson.